Hi friends, in this video we solve problems related to parallel resonance circuits. This may be expected in any exam. Okay, the first question is find the resonance frequency in the circuit. So you see all the circuit, all the elements are connected in parallel, so it will be parallel resonant one. So what is the condition for resonant frequency in parallel resonance? Fr is equal to 1 by 2 pi root Lc. <coughs> Sorry. So it is 1 by 2 pi. L is given here 50 Henry, Willy Henry, so 15 to 10 power minus 3. C is 0 0.1, 0 0.01 microfarad, so 10 power minus 6. So if you simplify, what you get is Fr is equal to 717.625 heads. Right, or it is 7.11 kilohertz. Fine, okay. So this is what uh, parallel resonant frequency. Okay, next one. For the parallel network shown in the figure, okay, they told it is parallel. Determine R value. So I have to find what is this value. Okay, so we know it is a parallel resonant. Whenever we have a circuit like this, what is the condition for resonance? The condition for resonance is given by what is the thing? xl by rl square plus xl square is equal to xc by rc square plus xc square okay so xl we have to find xc we have to find it. this is rl the resistor along inductor this is what rc so resistor along capacitor Okay, so what is XL? XL is equal to 2 pi FL. Fine. Okay, that we have to find. XL they have given. JXL. So J, this is what? JXL. This is JXC. So XL is 10 ohm. So directly we can substitute. So XL is 10. RL they have given 6 squared plus XL 10 squared. Right? XC, this is what XC jxc so this is 2 so it is 2 xc rc is we have to find uh, xc 2 square okay so if you simplify what will happen this will become 10 into r squared plus 4 that is equal to 2 into this is 6 square 36 100 136 so this implies 10 r squared is equal to 272 minus 40 so what will happen this will give r squared is equal to uh, 23.2 find this implies r is equal to 4.81 ohm simple problem so only thing we have to remember is this condition okay Third problem, calculate FR, that is resonant frequency, bandwidth and Q factor of the circuit. It is parallel resonance. So we know what is the resonant frequency of parallel resonance. FR is equal to 1 by uh, 2 pi root LC. Right, so if you find what you get, 1 by 2 pi. L is 0.2, this is L. 0.2 into milli 10 power minus 3 into 8 into 10 power minus 6. Fine. So, what we get is if we simplify, we will get uh, 3978.8 hertz. That is what resonant frequency. Next to what they are asking bandwidth. Uh, Bandwidth, uh, bandwidth of a parallel resonance circuit like this, bandwidth is equal to 1 by Rc. So 1 by R is 8 kilo ohm given. C is, the R is 8 kilo ohm. C, capacitor C is 8 microfarad. So 8 into 10 power minus 6. So if you simplify what you get is bandwidth is equal to 50. 15.62 radian per second. Right? Next, what they are asking? Q factor. Q factor. Q factor is equal to R by 
omega r l right so r is 8 kilo ohm fine so this is 8 into 10 power 3 please remember 8 into 10 power 3 kilo ohm so r is 8 into 10 power 3 omega is 2 pi into fr fr we know is 39 78.8 into l l is 0.2 into 10 power minus 3 l is given right 0 0.2 millihenry so if you simplify what we get is q factor is equal to 1600 right okay next problem let us see the last problem for the circuit shown in the figure determine the value of c at which the circuit resonates when f is equal to 100 hertz so they are given resonant frequency so we have to find this this c value okay how can we find we know whenever we have rl rc parallel the condition for resonance is xl by r squared plus xl squared xc rc squared plus xc squared this is resistor along rl this is rc this is xl okay so rl8 rc8 so 8 by 8 square plus xl is 6 square xc from this only we have to find 8 square plus xc square okay now it will become point 64 plus 3600 rl i think it is rl is xl not x so xl is 8 ohm so xl is 6 ohm right i have to put 6 i change it xl is 6 one this is what xl this is xl 6 right so now i will get 0.06 xc by 64 plus xc square if i simplify 0.06 64 plus xc square is equal to xc what will happen so if I simplify this will give uh, 3.84 plus 0 0.06 xc squared minus xc is equal to 0. If I simplify xc squared minus 16.66 xc plus 64 is equal to 0. This implies x is equal to xc will be 10.65 or if we simplify quadratic equation take a factor we will get 6 ohm so we got 2 xc so xc may be 10.65 or xc may be c 6 so case 1 if x is equal to 10.65 we know x is equal to 1 by 2 pi fc that is equal to 10.65 right so c is equal to uh, 1 by 2 pi f into 10.6 f is nothing but fr okay so if you simplify 1 by 2 pi frequency 100 they have given in the problem x is 10.65 you see f uh, circuit resonate at uh, when f is equal to 100 hertz circuit so fr is equal to 100 so if we simplify, we will get C is equal to 149.44 microfarad. Else, case 2, Xc is equal to 6 ohm means C is equal to 1 by 2 pi F is 100, Xc 6. So it will give 265.5. 2 5 microfarad. This is 1 by 2 pi f into xc, right? C. So that's what we have done here. 1 by 2 pi f into c. That is what xc. Okay, wow. so this is what my answer.
fine because f is equal to sorry x c is equal to 1 by 2 pi f c c is equal to 1 by 2 pi f x okay so that's what we have done here right so this is the way we have to solve all the problems i hope you have done you have understood all the problems if there is any doubt please ask me in comment section thank you